Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. With this month revolving around heist bonuses, I decided to make the most out of the situation and do something that everyone loves most about GTA Online, heists with randoms. More specifically, prison break with randoms. Going into this, I had but one rule, and that was that the lowest level that joined was always assigned the pilot role. Because, you know what? It's good to give the lower levels a chance to learn, and the best way to do that is to just throw them right into the action. Here's a vellum, good luck, you know? And the experience was absolutely amazing. So grab a snack, grab a drink, and enjoy the tragic tale of doing Prison Break with Randoms in 2022. We begin by overcoming the first obstacle, matchmaking. To get the best results, I had to join a public lobby, make sure my matchmaking was on open, and invite every single player that I possibly could from the in-game screen here. At times, I felt like I was like a door-to-door -door salesman going around asking people just, please, join the heist. And this is where the frustration began. People would join and leave instantly, I would get a full team to fully join the game, and then right as I was about to start it, boom. One would leave and the rest would follow, because no one can just sit there and wait these days, it's all about that instant gratification. Yes, Cliffy Broom! <laughs> Cliffy Broom 666! Let's fucking go. Wait, wait, I have to see, is this guy- I, why can't I view- I can't view, fine, we'll do- we'll, we're gonna do it like this, we ha this is our first full lobby. No, Cliffy, you f even worse is when we finally managed to get our first squad together and on the heist board selecting our roles, one would leave and the heist would be done for, back to square one. No, you're the pilot. <laughs> you're the pilot, mister. <laughs> uh, you know what, I'll, I'll, to, even to prevent them from leaving, I'm gonna do 40-20-20-20. Why are you? F oh my god, dude! The fucking pilot left on me. He's probably one of those people. I give me, give me fifty percent. Give me fifty percent, or I'm not doing the heist. This cycle of matchmaking and players leaving lasted for I would say a good half hour at least. Just when I thought we would get a full squad, bam! Someone would leave. Keep in mind, this was all recorded while I was live streaming, which would mean there were even better odds of finding people out of the few hundred that could have been watching the stream at the time. But after nearly an hour of searching, we finally managed to get three other players to join, and so we begin the actual heist. Watch, watch. This cutscene's taking too long. I'm quitting. I swear to God, dude. These TikTok generations with their five-second attention spans. This game is terrible! <laughs> I was just joking, that one didn't actually get started, that one got ditched as well. Here was our first real squad, consisting of not even full randoms, we had at least one or two people from my stream in here. We got into the prison just fine, until my guard was unfortunately taken down. First fail. This is only the beginning. Our second run here was real good, flawless you might say. We got out of the prison easily, the plane was waiting for us parked perfectly on the runway, but it can never be that easy. See, if this was a level 20, it would have gone differently. Rajkovsky, no! Oh my god, he almost walked into the blade. Uh-oh. Uh oh that's not good. Oh, that almost landed on us. <laughs> I don't know if our pilot forgot that the plane could indeed fly, or if he was smoking that good LD Organic product while he was waiting for us to arrive, because he pulled up way too late, and we smacked right into the cop car, dead. Third run, once again, a perfect execution inside the prison, but on the exit, I noticed something off. The plane icon was off the runway, and when I got closer, I realized that he had become one with the fence here, which ended up in a dead run, of course. Is he doing this on purpose, bro? 
Skipping ahead a couple fails, I started to get skeptical of my pilot who seemed to be dying way more than he should be for his level. Keep in mind, this was a level 1600, he's a higher level than me even. So we ended up cutting ties afterwards, resulting in a failed attempt overall from that high screw. For our next screw, we recruited some fresh meat. I mean, this guy might have been straight off the plane at Los Santos International Airport, a level 27. And because of that, I decided to give him a little inspiration. And I couldn't think of any better way to do that than by sending him a free sample of my OnlyFans content. I mean, giving him a 30% cut, which was more than anyone else in the lobby. All right, fine. I'll, I'll give him 30%. If he actually earns it, I don't care. If he can finish the heist without failing, I I'll, I'll be surprised. I'll, he, he, he can earn that 30%. If he, if he finishes the heist. Once we left my apartment, I could tell by his seemingly stock Sabre Turbo that looked like it was just stolen off the street and ripped for a new license plate that we were in for a show. Oh my god, he has the... His car is the Sabre Turbo. Oh my... Yeah, he dude, he's a brand new character. Oh my gosh, we, we are in it now. We're really just throwing this man into the deep end. <laughs> he's not even getting a chance to get, get warmed up or anything. He's just going head first into the fucking... 10 foot section of the pool, dude. Now let's cut ahead and see what happens. Now, the hard part is uh, we have like 15 helicopters on us. All right, obviously don't park in front of him. Park it like off to the side. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we made it. Oh my God, we're take off, no way. Now I, I dude, I, there's no way. I have a feeling this guy is an alt account. Now I, now I don't trust his skills. Oh no, what no, please don't fly through the windmills. I don't fly. The level 27 did a splendid job, but our demolition man, ironically, blew the whole thing up. <laughs> so it was back to the beginning, inviting more randoms. Oh, already. Okay, good. Level 95. He's gonna leave in five seconds. Five, four. Three, two, one. This guy's name is Harry Ass Forty Three. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at the his name's Harry Ass Forty Three. Who the fuck is that guy? Is he my skill match? <laughs> Harry Ass Forty Three. He's joining. <laughs> no, that has to be a troll. That's a troll. There's no way. And from this moment on, it was settled. DVL, the legendary Harry Ass Forty Three, God's Oblivion, and myself. We're the next crew to free Reshkovsky. By this moment, I was getting fairly good at the route inside the prison. I figured out that you can just jump down here without taking any damage instead of taking the stairs, which saves a good amount of time. It's a nice speedrun strat. I had been doing this mission so many times now that it feels like a training course for me more than an actual mission. So we cleared the prison, escaped just fine. But when the plane comes in, this is where it gets intense. All right, Harry Ass, it's your, your turn. You're up, hairy ass. Go to the airfield. Oh no. Oh god, he's trying to land over here. Land at the airfield. Oh shit, is hairy ass gonna pull it off? I don't know if we're gonna have enough runway to take off now. Everyone in! Harry ass couldn't have landed that plane better, an S tier landing if I do say so myself. However, we had a hard time getting everyone in the plane as our prison guard DVL decided to have a Rambo moment and just sit there spraying down the cops with his machine gun, and even afterwards just avoiding the very clear instructions to get the fuck in the plane. So much so that I had to whip out my cell phone and text this dude to get in the plane, and he still stood there in the open shooting doing his best Rambo impression. Oh my god, get in!
Bro, this man is stupid. Five minutes later, he finally got on the plane, but at that point, a hazard appeared on the runway in front of us. Now, at this point, I'm going to ask you guys a question. What do you think our pilot is going to do in this situation? Is he going to A, make a right turn, avoid the debris, and take off just fine? B, turn the plane around and take off the other way? Or C, drive right into it? Post your answer down in the comments. Harry ass, don't run into that. <sighs> you know, whenever the pilot does well, someone else has to just step in and fuck up for them. And unfortunately, after this happened, someone left the heist, so it was back to square one. But you know what? I blame the guard more than anything in that situation. If he had just gotten in the plane, we could have taken off no problem. You know, sitting there forever only allows more problems to occur. But yeah, Harry ass should have really avoided it. I don't know why he drove right into the debris. Now, looking at this image of me before Prison Break with Randoms and after Prison Break with Randoms, you can see that after aging about 20 years in a matter of a couple hours, I had about enough of that and decided to just gather the A team to complete the heist on the first try. But I gotta say, even though we never completed the heist with Randoms, I would be lying if I said I didn't have a few moments that made me laugh there. It was genuinely an entertaining experience. And of course, I can't forget that we met the legendary Harry Ass 43 along the way. He will be missed. And so that is the tragic tale of doing Prison Break with Randoms in the year 2022. I want to thank you guys all for joining me on this lovely experience. And have a fantastic day. Yay! It's the GTA Line trailer sequence.